November 26. 380. Gregory Natsianzen installed in the See of Constantinople, by the hand of Theodosius, upon the removal of Demophilus, and the fall of Arianism in the East soon. Followed. 1120. Prince William, with Richard and Mary, children of Henry I, of England, with attendants and others, to the number of 180, wrecked and coming from Normandy, after which the king was never seen to laugh. 1504. Isabella, Queen of Castile, died. Her reign was remarkable for the conquest of Granada from the Moors and the discovery of America, but was disgraced by the introduction of the Inquisition. 1678. Staley, a Catholic goldsmith, executed at Tyburn, London, for saying, as testified by a Scotchman, here's the hand that will kill the king. 1703. The great storm in England, the most violent on record. The Eddy Stone Lighthouse was thrown down. Thirteen men of war and one thousand five hundred seamen perished, with the Admiral Beaumont, Bishop Kidder and a great number of persons were killed, and an immense number of animals, and a great amount of property destroyed. 1719. John Hudson died, an eminent English critic and keeper of the Bodleian Library. 1763. Robert Bolton an English Puritan, died, distinguished for his learning and eloquence, and the excellence of his writings. 1780. Jerome David Gaubius died, a German professor of medicine, and lecturer on botany and chemistry. 1793. The French Republican calendar was first used, but discontinued 31st December, 1805. The decade was seldom used in dates. 1799. Joseph Black, a celebrated Scottish chemist, died. He was professor of chemistry in the University of Edinburgh, and made important discoveries in that science. 1807. Oliver Ellsworth, Chief Justice of the United States, died. 1812. Battle of Staroyborizov, in Russia, a most sanguinary conflict, in which the French were defeated with great slaughter, after a conflict of four hours. Eight thousand prisoners and a vast quantity of baggage were captured by the Russians, but the greatest trophy was two whole regiments of Saxon cavalry, fresh, and in excellent order. 1817. First newspaper in Wayne County issued. 1818. Field Marshal Killer Doe, Austrian Minister of State, and Director General of Artillery, died at Vienna, aged 84. 1826. John Nichols, printer and editor of the Gentleman's Magazine, died at London. 1827. Jose Alvarez, a famous Spanish sculptor, died at Madrid. 1829. Bushrod Washington died, one of the judges of the Supreme Court of the United States. 1829. Great inundation of the Nile began, by which 30,000 persons perished. 1836. John Loudon McAdam, died in Scotland, aged 80, the celebrated introducer of the system of road making which bears his name. He was sixty years of age when he commenced his public career as a reformer of roads. Yet he became so great a benefactor that the British government made him a grant of nearly fifty thousand dollars. 1842. Robert Smith, a cabinet minister under Presidents Jefferson and Madison, died at Baltimore, age eighty-five. 1851. Price Nitz founder of the system of hydropathy, died at Ruffenberg, in Bavaria, aged 52. 1851. Marshal Soult, Duke of Dalmatia, 
died in France, age 82, terminating a long public career, both military and civil. 1852. An earthquake greatly damaged the city of St. Jago to Cuba. 1852. At Stafford House, in London, some English ladies, headed by the Duchess of Sutherland, adopted an address to the women of America on the subject of Negro slavery, which subsequently received 576,000 signatures.